Fact number one. Egyptians were possibly black, according to a so-called black Egyptian hypothesis. Crazy, right? Absolutely insane that people from Africa could be black. Ro, just, wow, can't believe it. Fact number two. Some scholars dispute this, saying that this theory has left out very important facts, such as the use of the word melancro, which translates as black to most scholars, but some say that it could mean any color in the range of bronze to black. Some have also said that African people aren't the only people to be described with curly hair. Fact number three. Even though there have been samples taken from mummies to test the melanin in the skin, the results came back as undeniably black according to the man who led the study. Also, a Greek historian named Herodotus states in a few passages that the Egyptians were black dark. He also says that a Greek oracle was known to be from Egypt because she was black, that the natives of the Nile region are black with heat, and that Egyptians were black skinned with woolly hair. Fact number 4. Incest was common. Pharaohs had a habit of marrying sisters or half-sisters. Gross bro. Gross. Fact number 5. Cleopatra was not Egyptian. She was actually Greek Macedonian. But new evidence points to her being at least a small part African because her family had been living in Egypt for at least 300 years when Cleopatra was born. So, sorry, it might still be cultural appropriation to dress like her if you are white. Fact number 6. Queen Nefertiti's name means the beautiful woman has come, which seems to be true, judging by her bust, ooh girl those eyebrows are on fleek, the earlier images of her were stereotypical for a young woman, but as time went on she began being portrayed as more regal and commanding. Fact number 7. Queen Nefertiti's husband was not her brother, which is rare in Egyptian culture, in addition to the already rare situation, Nefertiti was a part of a power couple. Most often found pictured next to her husband Akhenaten, who changed his name to Amenhotep IV when he stepped into power. Fact number 8. Amenhotep IV had a great respect to women. Shortly after he founded a religion based on worshipping the Aten, he made sunshade temples for every individual royal woman to worship in. They were located within beautiful gardens that were complete with ritual pools. Fact number 9. King Amenhotep IV. After marrying other women eventually fathered King Tut. In addition to that, Nefertiti's third daughter married Tut, her half-brother. Gross. Fact number 10. Contrary to her sarcophagus, which depicts her as slender, Pharaoh Hatshepsut was probably fat and balding according to many historians. The fatness is explained in the fact that the Egyptian diet consisted of beer, wine, bread and honey. This not only affected her, but many other pharaohs whose mummies have been examined have pointed to them being overweight as well. Fact number 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. There are 6 pyramids in Giza. There are 3 greater pyramids in Giza. 3 times 2 is 6. That means 666. But wait. There's more. The pyramids were made of triangles. What else is triangles? The Illuminati, which uses pyramids in their imagery with the all-seeing eye. Where else in Egypt have we seen an eye? That's right, the eye of Horus. Wake up America. Egypt equals Illuminati.